Welcome to the latest Next.js 14 server actions in 3 minutes tutorial with a practical example. Remember that you can get code from this tutorial by visiting a link to a GitHub repo included in the description. Let's not waste time and create the Next.js app with default settings. We will name the project server actions, set use TypeScript and use app rotor. Then we will install the needed Superbase dependency to manage storing data in Superbase database. Now. Let's open the page.tsx file in the app folder and make some cleanup. Mainly, delete everything inside the main tags and paste the simple UI prepared earlier. Now we are ready to run the application. We can see on our local host the UI for adding to-dos. Previously, before server actions, we would create an endpoint in the API directory, for example, api slash form.js, and then use it on the client side as a custom fetch function inside the handle submit logic. However, with server actions, it will look different. Let's create a function add to do and mark it with used server at the top to indicate that this logic should be executed on the server side. We can see the simple initialization of a super based database and inserting the new todo item based on its name. Let's skip for now super based part and see the form tag, which has the property action set to the add to do function. Now we should sign into Superbase and create a new project, name it and set the password. Then create a new table todos and finally add a new column todo with type text. Let's navigate on the sidebar to settings and select API. On the right side you will be provided with the project URL and API keys. Copy the URL and secret key and paste them into the project. Now we can check if the new item will be updated. It works, but is not user friendly. No displayed saved items are visible. Let's change this by getting items at the top of a component. We have to initialize the database a second time because we cannot mix variables from the server side with the client side. In simpler terms, you can't define and use server actions directly inside a client component. In JSX, we can add a simple list with mapping the tasks. Now the items are visible on the UI, but they are still not refreshed after clicking a button. That is why we must go to the next step and use server action in the client component. To achieve that, let's create a folder actions in a project directory and add a new file add to do.ts. Inside the file, we have to paste the logic of the server action with use server marked at the top of the file and in the function. The rest of the logic looks practically the same as before in the page, tsx file. Moreover, to have refreshed items displayed in the UI, we will add the revalidate path function from the next cache. It will revalidate the path we are on when we submit the form to burst the cache and fetch the latest data after the form submission. Let's import the add to do function in the page.tsx file and delete the previous logic. As you can see, now the items are added and updated on UI in real time. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Remember that if you want to become a modern developer, you can subscribe to Modern Dev Newsletter, link attached in the description. Till the next time.